Welcome to Welcome Week, where you're welcome to Queen Mary in a week of activities. I'm here to guide you through the important bits. You are welcome. Okay, enough of that. Let's get down to business. First things first, let's make a plan. But not a business plan, a time plan. We need to prioritise the things you have to get done and the things that are nice, but not essential. Like the difference between enrolling and finding societies to join. You have to enrol. Otherwise, you won't be registered as a student. And when you turn up to lectures, no one will know who you are. And they'll have to call you Donut for the next three years because they do not know who you are. <sighs> Sorry. But you can avoid all of that by popping down to the octagon and getting the paperwork done. Then you're going to need to make time for your programme introduction because it's an important one. Then when you turn up to classes, they'll know who you are and you'll know who they are. Happy days. It's probably worth making sure that you've got your home set up just the way you like it. That's what Frank did. Look at his place. It's a palace. Frank, how did you make it so nice in here? Well, I brought all my small but useful stuff like extension leaves and chargers and Tupperware. I also brought things that remind me of home like my poster and my guitar. Nice. Well then, we'll leave you to it. And it's all about making your life easier. Let's ask these guys for their top tips for starting uni. It's important to pick modules which are interesting and which are relevant to your career plans and to consult with as many people in the field as you can. Also, if you're feeling like you don't know where to go or you're going to think you're going to be lost at uni, there's an amazing app that you can get on your phone, the Queen Mary app, and it's got a handy map of the campus on it. Make sure you go for as many programme introduction um, events. It's a nice time to meet the other guys who will be in your classes. For anyone who is commuting, I would say utilise your travel time to do something useful Instead of staring out of a window, you could take a book. So when it comes to exam times, you don't have to do all those extra hours in the library. And that's the important stuff out of the way. Now we can talk fun. First stop, societies. There are tons of societies out there. New things, old things, things that are for very specific fandom. But there's going to be something for you. And you can find out all about it at the Welcome Fair in Welcome Week. The trick is to not overstretch yourself. Rather than signing up to three society meetings a day and resigning yourself to a life of energy drinks and power naps, maybe just try a couple out. Then if you've got more free time, pick another one up, easy. And your time isn't the only thing that you can get a bit short of in Welcome Week. Just remember, there's more than just a week to budget for. There's a few pointers on how to plan a budget on Queen Mary's Advice and Counseling Service website. So give them a search if you need some more info. Then all that's left to do is get involved. Go out, have fun, meet people, sign up, eat the pizza and say yes as often as you want to. Welcome week is for everyone, all students, whether you're a local Londoner or come from further afield. Having a network of people at uni will make life that little bit more sweet. <laughs>